playing with therapy dogs is just one of the ways you can feel better today. Today is Blue Monday, also known as one of the gloomiest days of the year, but here's how it doesn't have to be. It's kind of inevitable. The snowstorms hit and the days are short and everything feels like an effort to get out of the house. The third Monday in January is widely known as the saddest day of the year. And while there's no science behind it, psychologist Steve Jordan says the timing makes sense. There's much less access to sunlight, which gives us a lot of energy and a lot of vitamin C, uh, but also things like we've all kind of had the hype of Christmas and, and the social and we ate a whole bunch of stuff and now that's over. So we're kind of in the hangover of Christmas. Days are getting colder. Adding a little bit of warmth to an otherwise cold day, Corporate canine therapy set up dog parks today across Toronto to give people a reason to smile. The connection with canine to human is something that's been going on for 33,000 years for domestication of dogs, and they've just learned to deal with us and make us um, kind of look at them as a source that is a de-stressing source. And also we know scientifically, after petting a dog within seven minutes, your cortisol levels are reduced by 50%. We see productivity go up in the workplace. While dogs can be a great source of comfort, Jordan says there are also a number of other ways to not let the blues get to you. At the end of every day, write down three good things that happened today. And if they know they're going to have to do that, then as they go through the day and good things happen, they may be a little more aware and alert and go, oh, okay, actually that was pretty good. That's some, I should think about that. I should remember that for tonight. Some people I spoke to have their own solutions to bring some brightness to Blue Monday. Probably bake a little too much, um, hang out with friends, kind of keep myself social and active and busy in that. Working out, um, trying to get outside, but also I do have animals at home that I have to say help. Malia Sheikh, City News, Toronto.